even if someone spends two dollars in your store you would treat them just as you would someone who spends two thousand dollars in your store and after that person who spent their two dollars in your store is finished you are going to talk to that person again just as you would the wealthy person God made us all and we are all equally as valuable we are all brothers and sisters and we should treat each other as royalty this is something that a 19 year old man told me today at India Sweets and Spices on Fairfax and Pico thank you so much Lob and thank you to your whole family you know I felt like royalty in this store I should say restaurant because I ordered a meal it was muy bueno amazing you know and I had to eat it twice because that's how much food they gave me for a really great price but you know what I would pay any price for the service I received there I felt like I was part of the family I was treated as royalty and I knew it as soon as I stepped in that store thank you so much Lob for the beautiful conversation you gave me you know I knew this was a special place when I stepped in the store at 11 o'clock in the morning and the father was going in held the door for his wife and then opened it for me and I said oh thank you sir and I saw a big clump of keys in his hand I said wait a minute are you the owner he said yes I am he was a very proud man very very distinguished gentleman and his wife was beautiful smiley and I just want to thank all of you guys you know because I told him I said I'm gonna come back after I go to Whole Foods I'm not gonna eat there I'm just gonna go and I need some special skincare products and I'll come back this is the only Whole Foods they have my products at so anyway so when I come back Lob was the one that was standing there this 19 year old man and I knew I knew that he had the joy of the Lord because I could see it in his face. He had these beautiful blue glasses on, but then in the back they were aqua. And that's the first thing I commented on him on that. But I could see his smile. I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. I could see his spirit. Just a really sweet guy, you know? And he was telling me to look something up. We were talking about food. And he looked it up on YouTube. He said, everything's on YouTube. <laughs> I said, yeah, it is, isn't it? I said, wait a minute. Do you have a YouTube channel? And he does. And I'm going to post his link below. So we started talking about that, and you'll see the other film that I made with him on here. Actually, maybe I'll even post that first. But anyway, guys, go by what Lob says, you know? This man, this 19-year-old man was a real gem in my crown, you know? I know I'm a queen, you know? But not everybody treats me that way, and that's understandable because most people don't like themselves, and I sometimes forget that. But... I'm going to be patient with y'all because I'm here for the purpose to show you that you are infinite in value. Tienes infinito in valor. But as I said, lo que tu quieres, you can do anything you want to do, y'all. But you got to treat people well. So if you want to treat someone well, start with yourself. You know? But realize that we're all the same. We all are human. We all have struggles. We all have things going on inside our head that's not real sometimes. You know? thinking that people are against us maybe I've thought that before you know but treat everyone as though they are your brother your sister your mother your father your daughter your son your grandma because we are just like rhythm rug says we are all one drop in the ocean you know and guess what I'm gonna add to that what affects one of us affects all of us you know when somebody, I'll give you a good example, when somebody treats themselves badly, they don't like themselves, and they treat themselves badly, it hurts me. The other day, and it really can affect you in a bad way, that's actually like this. I was at my gym, and I switched gyms because there was this woman there who apparently hated herself so much, which is understandable, I've been there, she had to take a picture of herself in the mirror. And she's probably just trying to look I'm at the gym I'm I lost five pounds or something and she has a lot of weight to lose so that's probably why she was doing it. I've been there I was very selfish in the past and that's because I didn't like myself and I've been overweight and all that I lost 200 pounds so I understand but you see because of her selfishness and not liking herself 
she took a picture of me while I was naked and I don't even know if she still has it. So I had to leave my family down on Broadway because, because of her self-hatred, you know? So we are all one drop in the ocean and what, what affects one of us affects all of us. So just show love, you know? Show love to people because you never, show some patience, show some kindness, compassion, you know, forgiveness, because you're gonna need those too. You know, and God says that if you want to be forgiven, then you have to forgive. Jesus Christ forgave us, forgave us all. He bled forgiveness. So, when you think people are against you, which they're not, just say that you have no enemies. But if you think that you do, just say, like Jesus said on the cross, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Okay? You are worth it. Once again, thank you, India Sweets and Spices down on Fairfax and Pico. I recommend that. It's a really great price, but it, I, like I said, you, I would pay, and so would you, pay any price for that kind of experience. It's a great service. Wonderful people. I feel like family. I love them. Go down there and check out India Sweets and Spices and say hi to my boy Lob over there on Pico and Fairfax. You are worth it. You are infinite in value. Chenny's infinito in valor. Thank you.